All right, for a question like this on the GRE, we want to look at this question and try to identify what type of question we have. Obviously, it's an exponent question because we have 3 to the x, 3 to the y, 3 to the z. And one of the things about exponents is, well, a couple of things about exponents, you need to know some of the rules about, of, of exponents. So let's kind of talk about one of them for right now. For example, if I said 7 to the 2 times 7 to the uh, 3, okay? The way you um, calculate this is because this is a multiplication of these two exponents, but because these bases are the same, they're both 7, what you do with the power is you add it, so that's 7 to the 5. If this was a division, you would be subtracting the powers. So based on that, we need to kind of bring that into, the fu uh, into a function here. When I look at this 3 to the x, 3 to the y, 3 to the z, because they are all multiplying and the bases are the same, they're all 3s, all you have to really focus on is adding the x plus the y plus the z. So that needs to be done. But the other thing you need to keep in mind is this 729 here. You need to look at that and say, well, since these guys are 3 to the powers, this, that's really giving you a hint that we can make the 729 3 to the something as well. So let's kind of combine all of this together. Because this is all multiplying, we need to add these powers because we have the same base. So really, at this point, I have 3 to the x uh, plus y plus z. So as you can see, the 3 z, I'd only write 1 3 because they are common bases. Um, and you add the powers, which is the rule of exponent. Now, for the 729 part, that really needs to become 3 to the something. So let's think about what that something needs to be. If you look at 729, what you need to do using your calculator on the GRE, because on the GRE, they do allow you to have a calculator. Using your calculator on GRE, you just need to multiply. So you need to say 3 times 3, which is uh, 9. And then that 9 times 3 gives you 27. Okay. And that 27 times 3 gives you... Um, 27 times 3 gives you 81, okay? And that 81 times 3 gives you 243. And then that 243 times 3 gives you 729. Now, you'll be doing that with the calculator they give you on the GRE test. So the question then is, how many 3s do we have here? Well, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so we have six threes that made up the 729. So in effect, instead of writing 729, I really need to be writing three to the six, right? Now the question again is why are we using three? Why is three important? Well, three is important because if you look at what we have here, it's set up as threes. And the reason why we really want three is so that we can do this, okay? Because if we can get the base here to be the same as the one here, then we could cross it out. And all we have now is X plus Y plus plus z equal to 6. Well, one of the things we know now is that um, from the question is that the z is equal to xy. So anytime we see xy, you could just substitute that. So instead of writing this xy, x plus y, sorry, not xy, x plus y, you should just write z, okay, plus z equal to 6, okay. Obviously, z plus z is 2z, okay, equal to 6 divide by 2, divide by 2, so z is 3. Now the question here uh, at the end of the day is asking for 3 to the z. Well, now that we know the z is 3, uh, the answer here is just going to be 3 to the 3. And again, the way we do that is 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 times 3 gives us 27. You know, 3 times 3 is 9 times 3, 27. So the answer here is 27. And on the GRE, all you have to do is put 27 in here. So the key here is converting the 729 into the 729. If I go back here, the 729 is 3 to the 6. Okay, converting that, putting that here, understanding that when you're multiplying exponents, you just add the powers. You add x plus y plus z. You add the powers, which is what we have here. And all we have to do at this end here is just cross the 3s out. You have the x plus y plus z equal to 6. Substitute the x plus y for z, which is what the question said. So when you're doing a question in GRE, always go back into the question to see if you have some key information, which is what we have here. The x plus y is z. You substitute that in here. 2z equals 6 divided 2. The z is 3. And then you answer the question, which is 3 to the z. I had a student uh, who actually did all the work and got z as 3 and just put 3 here. But that's not what the question is saying. It's saying 3 to the z. So it has to be 3 to the 3, which is 27. And that's the answer to this question. The answer is 27.